first I am going in for a piece of that egg. And gotta look at these stink beans. They are nice and big and, and they look wonderfully crisp. And a stink bean is what really makes this stand out, a standout plate of fried rice. What's up everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. This evening I am on Mangga Basar, which is in the northern central part of Jakarta. And I wasn't sure of what to eat, so I just decided to fall back on what is possibly one of the most common and most popular Jakarta street food or Indonesian street food dishes, which is called nasi goreng, which is just fried rice. And so for dinner tonight, I'm having Indonesian fried rice. come to a street food stall that serves nasi goreng, they usually have a bunch of different variations. Or basically, because they stir fry it as you order it, you can choose whatever ingredients you want. But one of my absolute favorite types of nasi goreng to order in Indonesia is nasi goreng petai, which is fried rice with stink beans. And stink beans are one of my all-time favorite ingredients in the entire world. They make anything good. And stir-fried and fried rice is just an absolute genius idea. And then to plate the whole dish, he topped the egg on top. Then he added on some slices of tomato and cucumber, some pickles, some a handful of crispy shallots, and then finally a handful of the crackers on the side. First, I am going in for a piece of that egg. And gotta look at these stink beans. They are nice and big and, and they look wonderfully crisp. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. Oh, that is a wonderful plate of fried rice. I'm gonna go in for some of these pickles and I gotta have some more egg. And the pad thai is what really makes it delicious. And the stink bean is what really makes this stand out, a standout plate of fried rice. That is my kind of a plate of fried rice. You can taste just a very, very faint sweetness from that sweet soy sauce. It's salty. I think he used both salt and the sweet soy sauce in here. And then there's a little bit of sambal, so it has a little bit of a spicy tinge to it. Those stink beans, though, they are just like jungle beans of beauty. They are crisp, they have a unique taste, and they're just wonderful additions to anything. And to a plate of fried rice, they go so well together. Follow that by a crispy chip. To get all the different textures going on. Those taste a little bit oily indeed. There are also little pieces of shredded chicken in here as well, which were fried in the rice. That's good. Let me grab a tomato, and there's a chili in this bite as well. Mm. The tomato with that bite is really good. The contrast juicy, tomato flavor to go with that salty, 
rice. You'll find fried rice all over Southeast Asia and all over Asia. It is a comfort food, and what I really love about nasi goreng fried rice in Indonesia is that you can order it with pet thai. That just takes it up a notch in the fried rice department. That was very tasty, a little on the oily side and salty side, but it is very tasty. And with that pet thai, with those eggs, uh, with that, uh, all those garnishings, really good. And so you'll find nasi goreng all over Indonesia. I'm thinking about right now, there is a, this, this whole street, Manga Besar, it's very famous for durian, and especially durian from Medan in Sumatra. And so we're actually sitting at a nasi goreng restaurant stall that is right next to a durian restaurant. And I can, as I was eating the stink beans, I was getting whiffs of durian. So the only thing that I think I can do right now is go next door for, for possibly a durian. This one, durian medan. Durian Palembang. Oh, Palembang. Iya. Satu per buah ini ada yang 35, 45, 55. Tergantung ukuran. Tergantung size. Oh, cim dai, kap. Oh, cim dai, kap. Oke. Okay. Alai, kap. Oke. Okay. Oh, that is, that is awesome. Oh, that's sweet and bitter. <laughs> They have small durians, and they have medium-sized, and they have the big ones, or they call it the super big. Ying and I decided to go for a medium, and actually these are not from Medan, they are from Palembang, which is towards southern Sumatra. They open it up and then they give you a, a little sliver of the durian for you to taste test it before you commit to it. That's pretty cool. And so he gave me a taste, taste test, it's really good. This is a very white colored flesh durian, and it's a nice little guy, but the fruit is nice and pungent and very custardy. Let me grab this little nugget. Oh yeah, and that's a pretty big seed. Oh wow. Durian just never gets old. It's one of those things you can keep eating and that same wonderful sensation of flavor and just a, an exciting rush of flavor just overwhelms you with every single bite. Durian is truly an amazing fruit. This particular durian has a very nice custardy texture but not, not too like buttery rich. It is buttery rich but it's kind of custardy whipped cream texture and then the taste is both sweet and bitter combination, plus a little bit of, you can definitely taste a little bit of like alcohol in there as well. Oh yeah, that is extremely custardy. Oh man, that's really good. And I love this atmosphere here with the strands of durian hanging and you get the full aroma aromatherapy of durian here plus eating it at the same time that durian went down way too easily and all of the nuggets are gone but this is one of those durians that's so custardy that you just got to take your finger and just scoop out all the rest of that custardy durian goodness And then you've got a bowl of water here to just rinse off your fingers once you're done. I would like to also just mention that as much as I love durian, I think my wife Ying loves durian even more than I do. And it was actually her idea to have durian tonight. When you come to Jakarta, Manga Mesar, which is in the northern central part of Jakarta. This is a very famous area for a lot of food. There's a lot of street food in the evening, but then there's also a lot of Chinese restaurants in this area as well. Anyway, it's just an, an overall a great area to relax and eat. And there are a lot of durian stalls as well. So this is a must come destination in Jakarta if you love food. 
thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also remember to click subscribe so you don't miss upcoming food videos. And I'll see you on the next video.